So few days ago, I made a video on how to design 100 times faster in Figma and the secret behind it was design system. So mostly I showed all of the premium design systems that I think was were worth buying and purchasing. But today I am going to share with you free design systems, which you can also use to uh, build up your faster design game. And uh, let's see some of the design systems. I will also uh, show you or tell you that these are my favorites at the end of this video. So let's get started. So first let's uh, move to this Bootstrap UI kit by G2 Chohan. So um, if you are designing a website and you are using Bootstrap UI kit, then this is going to be very, very helpful. Like you can see over here, you have buttons, colors, uh, typography, everything laid out over here. There are tons of components. So you can go to assets and you can see over here, here we have accordion, alert, badges, breadcrumbs, button groups, button cards, a lot of stuff. So this is a really nice uh, uh, Bootstrap UI kit by G2 Chohan you can use to start up your uh, bootstrap design or if you are do doing a web app or website. Next is this one, Shad CN UI. So this is basically built for uh, Tailwind UI, I think this is from Tailwind. Uh, and I have mentioned uh, Flowbyte, which is premium Tailwind. Uh, I think this is that is brilliant. So here we have few of the components. So these are basically for dashboards or maybe uh, mostly for um, development kind of web apps kind of uh, uh, whatever you are designing. So this is a nice one. So you can see over here, uh, I, I really love how they have used the textile like H1, H2, H3, large, lead, paragraph, paragraph, UI, UI medium, list body, body medium. So this is really, really nice. Table had inline code. So everything is specific to what they actually does in your design. This is really, really nice. Uh, then again, we have these colors, which are really nice. Gray, zinc, uh, neutral, stone. And I think you can, uh, you can uh, change these. I think some of them uh, are... Uh, uh, some of them seems almost the same like slate uh, gray. So this is actually gray. Gray is a bit different. Slate is a bit bluish gray color. Mm -hmm. So let's go to uh, colors. And right now I can only see slate over here, uh, but there are a lot of colors over here like this. Then we have primitives. These are actually uh, the base components, which you cannot change. So this is a nice one. So this is shared cn slash ui design system uh, and you can check it out next is this one is uh, ui design system by akash jaggi and this is a pretty basic one but uh, for example if you are doing a very uh, a landing page design or, or you don't need a very very big um, design system for web apps then you can use this one this one has good uh, spacing uh, spacing buttons typography colors icons then we have screen system uh, which is basically layouts control g or command g to layouts show the layout shift sorry shift g and um, shift g to hide them so they are very light so you might not um, see them okay so this one is uh, by i think avina uh, let me see if i can find I'm not sure. I think it, it is going to be, if you search on community, it would be at the bottom. Uh, this is a nice design system. You can uh, search it by its title. So you can see the cover and you can search in community by design system. And this, this you need to find this. It is hard to find it. So um, here's the design system and it has calendar elements, drop down, navigation, select controls, fields, uh, buttons, effects, uh, which is shadows, I think, icons, colors, typography, grid and addition. So this is a pretty uh, good design system. Next one is Wadin. So this is my favorite right now. Um, it ha It is very extensive design system. It is free and this is the color system, typography, shadows, icons, 
uh, Lumo icons. Then we have check boxes, combo boxes, custom fields, uh, date picker, date time picker, list boxes, uh, radio buttons, text files. So this upload, this I think is one of the most extensive design system, free design system available on Figma community, Vadin design system, Vadin, I'm not sure. Anyhow, so next one is teeny design system or tiny design system, I'm not sure. Anyhow, teeny tiny. Okay, so uh, although it says teeny, but I think it is pretty extensive. So it has a lot of things you can see over here, pin, forms, text fields, search fields, text area, radio buttons, check boxes, switch, and a lot of stuff. You can see this one is under development. So I think uh, for mobile apps, this one is more suited. Let's try to zoom in to see. Yes, this is more suited for mobile apps or mobile layouts or design. So this is really irritating me because I'm getting a lot of calls and messages during this, uh, this, uh, oh, this video. Anyhow, so next one is Woog design system. There is someone on my door. Anyhow, I'm not going to see. So here we have a Woog design system and this one is also very extensive. I really like it a lot. So you can see over here, colors, typography, layout grid, forms, buttons, tables, models, pop-ups, pop-over, editor, placeholder, navigation, containers, and motion curves. So this is new. So we have motion curves. Uh, custom motion curves over here. So this is Woo design system uh, and I really love this one. This one is also very good. So Vadin uh, was I think the best right now. After that I think I really love this one. So uh, next one is Moon design system. So about Moon I a bit get confused by this one. It is has a lot of different things like colors, color styles, uh, color theme showcase, grids, shadows. So this is very, very extensive. But for me, somehow it is a bit confusing maybe, I'm not sure. But this is a very, very extensive, extensive design system because it has uh, token states, token configuration, um, which to date, I haven't used tokens uh, till now because I haven't developed that much bigger design system. Breadcrumbs, carousel, charts, chips. So this is also very, very extensive design system, moon design system. I What I don't like is its style, uh, how they have, it has, it has a lot of roundness, but uh, overall it is a very, very extensive design system. Next is Finity design system. Here we have logo variations. This is nice if we are going to get some of the logo uh, variations over here. Type scale, shadows, colors, grid layout, um, icon, spacer. It has, I think, almost all the essentials. So I would also rate it like eight out of 10. This is very, very nice. Vadin is 10 out of 10. Moon for me is uh, also 8 out of 10, Finity is, Finity design system is again uh, 8 out of 10. This is really, really nicely done. Let me show you a few more over here. Uh, so this one is Android Material 3 messaging app. Uh, it has all the essentials. So if you want to start some um, messaging app, so there are navigation bar, action bars, dialogues, a system, uh, system like keyboard. So this, this, it has all the essentials, I think. So this is a nice one. So here we have some of the screens. Um, this is really, really basic anyhow. So next one is material design kit. So this is material design kit from three from Google. This is very, very extensive design system. And I love it. Material design system is really, really great. Next is iOS 14 UI kit. So if you are designing for Android mobile apps or Android apps, Material Design 3 Kit, if you are designing for iOS apps or iPhone apps, then iOS 14 UI Kit for Figma. Uh, this one is also community file and it has a lot of, you can see over here, all the components, default components. So you can easily start your designs over here. 
Next is Material X Design UI Kit. I didn't like the style of it, but it is very, very extensive. You can see over here, uh, these are the features. Then we have templates. Then we have UI Kit, which has almost, I think, all of the essentials. Um, and uh, here we have the cover for this one. So this is actually and I think it, it, it has a full version. So maybe uh, you can, uh, you maybe you need to buy the full version. I'm not sure. So because it says light design system UI kit, it might not have all the components. So next is dimensions. I, I really like this dimensions. Uh, basics, it has colors, grids and spacing, uh, typography and icons, uh, illustrations and and some of the components so let's zoom in the components and see some of the components so i think it has almost all the essential components so i would also rate this one uh, this one i'm going to rate seven out of ten because of its style uh, because it, its style cannot be implemented to all the um, all different uh, apps or all different areas or different apps or web apps or designs because it has a particular style next one is brainstorming design system i also really love this one because it has let me show you these are icons this is grid um, colors typography this is i think a very very nicely done design system uh, and it is it could be a base design system for your app brainstorming design system by rosmir arnov Arnatovic. Uh, thank you, Rosmir. This is a really, really nicely done. 10 out of 10. I would rank rate it 10 out of 10. So I'm not sure why my browser is at 110%, uh, sorry, 20%. So it has shadows, buttons, forms, text components. I really love the styling, tooltips, navigations, uh, bonus devices. This is really, really nicely done. Next is keep design system. This one is also free and it has a lot of variations, colors, typography, icons, buttons, um, shadows, avatars, uh, checkboxes, switches. So this one is also going to get 10 out of 10. This is again a very, very brilliantly done. A lot of uh, components available to build almost everything. And um, this is again one of the best, I think. So keep design system, uh, I would give it um, 10 out of 10. Brains design system, 10 out of 10. Uh, and then again, uh, which one was um, Vardin or Vardin? Vardin, Vardin. So this one got 10 out of 10. Voog got almost, I think, 8 out of 10. Finity again, 8 out of 10. Uh, so these are all the different design systems I really loved and maybe you can start building your own. You can use some of the components from here and build your own on them. So this is uh, a good starting point if you are building a prototype quickly or you are building uh, an app, web app or mobile app that you really want to build very fast, then you can start with any of these design systems. And uh, one more thing is that if you go to Apple, uh, design resources and you can find these templates. Uh, this is actually for design template and this is the uh, sketch library. You can also, I think, open it in Figma. But Figma already have, I, I already showed you this one. Uh, this Figma already has iOS 14 UI kit for Figma on their community. So you can just start from there. So this is uh, my video with a lot of uh, phone calls, messages, and some of the uh, doorbells ringing behind me. <laughs> I think the person who is on the door is still standing there. Anyhow, I have to go now. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. I hope you will be using some of the uh, these design libraries in your next projects. And if you want to see what premium design libraries or design systems I have suggested, you can watch the video over here or somewhere here or here. Uh, so, uh, we'll meet you in another video. Till then, take care.